Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. If given that 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1 over a plus b and a over b cubed plus b over a cubed equals 2 times square root of n, then the question is what is the value of n? You can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, let's answer this question together. Our goal in this question is to find the value of this variable n. Now, first thing to do is to consider this expression that we want to evaluate and that is equivalent to 2 times square root of n. So we have a over b cubed plus b over a cubed. This cube reminds me of an identity which is what we call the sum of two cubes. Take note that if we have x cubed plus y cubed, it is equivalent to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared. Now, on the given expression, let x be equal to a over b and this y be equal to b over a. Therefore, this expression can be factored as follows. We have a over b plus b over a times a over b squared minus a over b times b over a plus b over a quantity squared. Now, let's focus on this factored form. And take note that this factored form is also equivalent to 2 times square root of n. Now, let's have the given equation 1 over a plus 1 over b equals 1 over a plus b. First thing to do is to simplify the left-hand side. 1 over a if we add to 1 over b, this will give us a plus b over a times b. Now, let's multiply a plus b on both sides. And then, let's multiply a b on both sides. Now, a plus b quantity squared, if we expand this, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, Let's combine similar terms, just subtract 2ab on both sides. So we have a squared plus b squared equals negative ab. Now, let's focus on this expression a plus b plus b over a. What we're going to do is to simplify this. If we add this two fraction, we get a squared plus b squared over ab. Now, take note that a squared plus b squared is negative ab. So, a squared plus b squared can be replaced by negative ab. Now, negative ab over ab is just negative 1. Now, on the middle term, let's focus on this expression a times b multiplied by b times a. We can cancel this a and we can cancel the factors of b on the numerator and b on the denominator. So, this will give us negative 1. Now, we have now the expression negative 1 times ab squared minus 1 plus b over a quantity squared. And still, it is equivalent to 2 times square root of n. Now, let's focus on this a over b squared plus b over a quantity squared. This reminds me of the expansion of x plus y quantity squared. Because if we expand x plus y quantity squared, this is equivalent to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now take note, if x equals a over b and y equals b over a, then the product of x times y is just 1. So what we're going to do is to rearrange some terms a little bit. Now take note that if we add 2 between a over b squared and b over a quantity squared, this is now the expansion of a over b plus b over a quantity squared given this identity. But take note, when we add 2, we need to subtract 2 to make it balance. Now, a over b quantity squared plus 2 plus b over a quantity squared is the same thing as a over b plus b over a quantity squared. And take note that a over b plus b over a will give us a squared plus b squared over a b. Again, a squared plus b squared is just negative a b. Now, Negative AB over AB is just negative 1. 
Now, let's simplify this. We have negative 1 squared first. We have positive 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And negative 1 times negative 2 is just positive 2. Now, the left-hand side is 2. And the right-hand side is 2 times square root of n. But take note that this 2 on the left-hand side can be written as 2 times square root of 1. This tells us that the value of n must be 1. Therefore, our answer to this question is n equals 1. And as always, we are done.